Well, hello everybody and welcome along to episode 3 of Grand Theft Auto Story Mode. We're going to pick up where we left off and that's where uh, Franklin decided to drop Jimmy off. And we're going to go ahead and do our own little mission. Yes, so uh, we've been told by Lamar that our, our raggedy ass haircut is not good enough for the streets of Los Santos. So we need to go get it cut. Yes, yeah, so let's go to the local barbers and uh, get a bit of a trim, shall we? Thank you very much for joining us, guys. I hope you're all good, fine and dandy. And uh, yes, let's go ahead and see what we can find in episode three. So I'm quite proud of myself. I don't know if you guys have noticed uh, in comparison with episode two. And that is the, uh, the smoothness of the gameplay. That's right, I went ahead and... Uh, did a little bit of configuring with my uh, scientific brain and uh, was able to get a, uh, a, well, a more stable frame counter. And uh, we seem to have uh, got a better one. It's not perfect, but uh, hey ho, that could be for episode 4 when we get a perfect, uh, perfect line of FPS. So now we are at Howick. Hair on yeah, Howick. Is it Howick? I don't know. But that's what we're going to go do. I definitely don't want cornrows. I think they look atrocious. But I do think I might get him a little beard or something along that effect. I do uh, like the, the logic of Grand Theft Auto where you can grow a beard at the barbers. There we go. So apparently our hair is not good enough. So we need to go ahead and have a little look at different styles. So... You'll have to let us know in the comment box below, guys, which one you actually like of these, and uh, I will go back and get it done. But for the time being, since we're not streaming live, I will go ahead and choose the one that I want. Uh, that's the original. I don't like cornrows. don't like an afro. Could go for that one. Oh, I don't know what's on the back of that. I'll tell you what, if we went for that and a little goatee, I think that would look quite menacing. Almost... The, uh, a black version of Walter White. So we need to go down to here. And what have we got? We've got that. That's very nice. That's a bit too much. And that's me. Do you know what? I'm quite liking the goatee look. I think we should go for the goatee look. But uh, yeah, as I say, guys, let us know in the comment box below uh, whether this suits Franklin or if you want me to go for a slightly different look. And uh, I will go ahead and get that done. But uh, for the time being, that does look pretty pucker. Here on Herrick have done Come the nuts. And we're going to go ahead and uh, leave now. I'll go back into our kind of semi-stolen, semi-paid for 4x4. Four four. That is really actually Jimmy's. Or is it his dad's? I don't know. Does his dad pay for it or just Jimmy? Jimmy doesn't work. I'm going to probably say that that is uh, Michael's car, really. So uh, what do we need to do? We need to find a mission... Hmm. That question mark. What's that question mark do? So if we go... Yeah. That's the text from the mall. That's uh, a very unhappy Sibian. Well, I think we're going to go have to do the uh, question mark mission, really, for Franklin. There's no other missions for Franklin. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do the question mark. And if I'm right, I do believe that is that is it that Tanya or Tanisha. Uh, and we'll be doing a tow truck. That's it. The tow truck mission. So thankfully, it's only one tow truck mission. It's a bit slow, this mission, I found, uh, from when I've done it before. But uh, hey, hope. Builds up a, a repertoire of characters, I guess. That's very close. A bit like I enhanced the uh, slow motion there. Because that could have ended quite badly for us. And again. Whee! Round we go. There we are. So yes, this uh, question mark is the tow truck mission. So we'll go ahead and get that done as quick as we can, really. Um... 
and then perhaps do another mission after that for this episode because obviously this is quite a short mission it won't really take us that long a time to be honest there we go so I'm going to be quiet whilst uh, them two go ahead and have a little chat with you, Tanya? Ain't nothing wrong with me, nigga. Shit. Well, your ass don't look too good. Where the fuck is JV? Smoking. And what about you? I mean, you know, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Almost. Yeah, whatever. JV, look, JV gonna lose everything. He gonna lose the house. You know what I'm saying? The business, everything. And you his cousin, nigga. You said you was gonna he help. He ain't my cousin. Whatever, if that's how you feel. What the fuck do I know about touring cars? Look, it's easy. If JB can do it, you can do it for fuck's sake. Come on, I'm going to show you. Come on, shit. All right, then. Jesus, this ain't everything. Hey, look, let's make this quick. I got shit to do. Nigga, you need to slow it down. So let's go ahead and mark ourselves on the map where we've got to go. And uh, that's another thing. Who the bloody hell is JB? Do you ever actually get to find out who the bloody right, hell he shit, is? Where we go? Trucks at the Davis Sheriff there we go. Oh man, how did I get dragged into this? We both know you always been sweet on me. <laughs> Shit, Franklin Clinton. Shit, your ass must be high or something. I told you, I don't do that shit no more. I mean, I baby doze now and again just for the taste. But I'm doing good, boo. Your eyes don't lie. Whatever you say, girl. Come on. This JB's truck. Let's go bring the cha-ching, homie. Well, at least we're now here, so we go ahead and park ourselves up and get into what would seem this beast. Yeah. I've seen this uh, a lot in action, although it's not the flatbed version, in LSPDFR. So we're going to go ahead and look at the other side of it, really. Look at my little fashion night. How cool is that? I'm going to get rid of the music station. As I don't want 50 lashes from the YouTube authorities. And, uh, right, okay, so it's marked out on the map for us where we've got to go. Fantastic. Oh, did I? Franklin. We filling in for JB. Uh, Who's JB? Uh, hi, Tanya. Car's a junker. Been there for days. 10 to 7. I'm gone. A bucket? What is 10-7? This one should be easy. Shit, not easy enough for JB to drag his ass out of whatever crack house he laying in. His loss, yo game, sugar. Except I ain't gaining shit, sugar. Move that seat back, and you know I'll make it right for you. That ain't what I'm saying. Damn, Tanya, what the fuck happened to you? I want to know how Franklin has lasted so long mixing with these people and is not in jail because these are some very dodgy characters but uh, there we go I suppose it's the uh, pivot point for uh, him to reach out to kind of the father figure he's starting to see as is Michael the father figure okay, slash mentor JB anyway this a hundred times back up close make sure the hook is down and okay. it should slide right in gosh she's making me feel sick Good lord. Right, well, we'll get our pretty little lights going on. And we'll uh, right, go ahead and nice do what she and says. Steady. Lower the uh, boom down and reverse it onto the uh, broken car. Yeah. Okay, we are in, baby. Let's get this back to the lot. Hey, this was not how I saw my day going. Well, we are connected, and we are going to now make our way back to the uh, sheriff's whatever bloody hell it's called. I don't know. The impound, I guess you could say. I guess I wonder if that's where all the cars go that I've uh, ever towed on my uh, LSPDFR days. be interested to find out. Perhaps one day I'll have to follow. So the hood much. Oh, she's chatting again. Of course out. she is. Can't Hills forever. Oh, nigga got airs now. I remember you before you was a wannabe when you just was. And I remember you and JB before y'all was dope here. Shit changes. You the one all turfed up. JB smoking, but he ain't smoking homies. He out here grinding, towing cars, paying bills. For real. Because I could have sworn it was me out here towing cars for him. And looking damn fine doing it too, baby. See, so yeah, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. 
The, I'll have to follow a tow truck one time I ever do okay, an SP. The the Interrupts me again. Can you believe it? Right okay, well, we're going to drop it in the right place. And as I was saying, for the third time, we'll uh, have to follow the tow truck ourselves one day and see if it kind of goes good, here. And uh, see if we can... Uh, See if it actually does that. I don't think it does. It probably just disappears into thin air, but there we go. That'll be for when LSPDFR 0.4 comes out. Which hopefully isn't too long away. But uh, whilst we're waiting for 0 0.4, we're going to be uh, completing this game. That's right, that is my mission, to complete the game. Not 100%, I don't expect to get all the jumps and stunts and strangers, but definitely the storyline completed so that we've got the whole area and all the characters playable. Things like, you know, the tattoo shops and new clothes and bits and bobs that you can unlock on the way. And perhaps uh, enhance our skills so that when we are uh, an officer of the law we've got uh, full driving skills and strength and stamina. And we need to get rid of that uh, music again. There must be a way that I can permanently disable the radio because, uh, yeah, it gets a little annoying. So we're, uh, we're done now. We've uh, done our little bit for society, or Joe B, should we say, whoever he is, and uh, we're going to make our way back to, uh, well, where were we going again? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Is it Michael's? Yeah, we're going to go to Michael's. That's right. Forgetting what I'm doing there now. Bloody select it on the map, then go and forget. We'll just go ahead and go over the, uh, the curb. I think in real life that'll probably buckle our wheel and pop our tyre, but uh, thankfully these curbs are very uh, tyre friendly. So if we can go ahead and get ourselves onto the freeway and perhaps do a bit of a a double click, get the uh, special up and get a bit of speed up for this uh, freeway jaunt, as we call it. There we go, I should do. It's not the fastest car in Grand Theft Auto. It's built like a tank, though. Went through a uh, shop window perfectly fine, didn't it? But... Yeah, so the FPS, it seems to be not too bad. Quite tolerable, but uh, however, I think after this episode I'm going to have a little fiddle with it again and see if there's anything else we can do. I'm going to need special ability here. I always feel like I should talk in slow motion when I do this. <laughs> World's first joke, but it uh, would be quite funny, I guess. Perhaps the first time, but not every time. I'll tell you what, this is going to take. Threading the needle to its extreme. Oh, we did it. Oh my god, I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. There we go. We did it. And we are absolutely flying. Off we go. Look at Michael's in no no time. And uh, we'll uh, activate the next mission before we uh, end this episode. And uh, see what this mission encounters. We couldn't make that. I had to stop there. Two bastards of a car kind of uh, blocking me, really. So yeah, I think we can get another mission done, really. We're only, what, 13, 40 minutes into this video, so... If we can get this uh, mission done, it'd be pretty cool. Oh, I know what mission this is. Haha, <laughs> straight away. Well, this should be fun. So yeah, as a normal, I'll, uh, I'll be quiet. Get him away. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a prick in my bed. <laughs> Bullshitting. It wasn't like that. You I tell you what, that Amanda, his wife, is fucking Just stunning. Don't kill oh, him. she's beautiful. So let's go ahead and get the tennis coach. Yes, we've got to go catch him. And uh, see if we can beat his ass. The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. Tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. You risk dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. This really is kind of the beginning of the setup of what we need to do, which is one of my favourite heists, eventually, as we uh, unravel the. Um, the damage, should we say. But I won't give too much away if you haven't seen this, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh! Bollocks to Bitsy. Oh, no! Oh, my God. 
Whoops. I tell you what, this vehicle does not pull very well. It's uh, a very slow, slow car. I don't know why we took this, but uh, there we go. If we took a Bugatti Veyron, we would uh, certainly catch up with him before we got to this area. Oh look, there's his car. Alright, so what we uh do we park it here? Oh, get back in the truck, okay, now we bollocks that up. Oh, that looked immersive, didn't it? Ah, oh, there's a yellow dot over there. I don't see that. Dear me. Right, we'll stop here and we'll uh, get things ready, shall we? There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Are you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I caught the session, bud. Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud. I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like when someone fucks with your shit. Well, hey, wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! I gotta say, considering the uh, circumstances that uh, we're in, he's actually handling it pretty damn well. Um, considering he's a, uh, you know, either a, a mass murderer or a professional robber or whatever he calls himself, uh, he's been very calm about it. Yeah, I think so anyway. But uh, we need to go ahead and pull this house down. And, uh, we look starting to. It's almost like a an homage to uh, Lethal Weapon. Where they uh, pulled the house down on stilts there. Did they put it down? Did you? I don't know. They did something about it. it fell down like that anyway. And there we go. Kaboom. There's a lot of damage there. Yeah! Fuck, come on! Fuck, man, fuck! Oh, we did it! Fuck his ass! Yeah, fuck him! But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. Now that's an expensive bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Well, let's go back to Michael's house and what could possibly go wrong, eh? I couldn't imagine. Oh, this look. Santa. What the hell? It's not my house. Bullshit. Oh, bro. I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. <laughs> Give me a plug. You! Yes, dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Lovely. Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. <laughs> hey, man, that's some mean looking motherfucking essays right behind Jesus. Right, okay. Well, we've got to get our game faces on now. Uh, right. We're titting this up, that's for sure. Right, let's uh, change to Franklin, shall we? There we go. Let's do some shooting. No, I haven't quite done that yet. Okay. Hang on. I thought we could change. Yeah, there we go. Oh, for a second there, I thought I was driving. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, Michael, you need to slow down, mate, because we're actually getting away from them. And if I've got to shoot and kill them, you know, we need them uh, inside. I'm going to have to change back to Michael on this one, I think. How can I? When they're that far away. Come on. I haven't got a sniper rifle. Uh, well, yeah, they're back there. They're certainly back here. Jesus. Mr. Pedal, man, we gotta move. How much distance we got between us? 
Uh, well, enough that uh, we can uh, change drivers, perhaps. Get out and... Uh, oh no, this is going to end bad. Oh, that was a close death. That really was. So, very little health and a poxy pistol. We're going to go ahead and try and not die. However, it's not the end of the world if we do die. But uh, it would be nice if we could stay alive. I don't know where we respawn or if we have to chase them again up the hills. It would be a pain in the ass if we had to. I think I'm out. If that happens, we'd have to edit that out again and get it back to here. I just want to see the same thing twice over it now, do you? Uh, I think we're pretty much golden, really. I think we should be able to take this one guy out without uh, too much of a problem. Can't really shoot through the car, unfortunately. But there we go, down you go, mate. We did it. Fantastic. So we should be able to go back to uh, Michael's house now. Relatively uh, trouble-free. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Thanks. I guess. Hey, don't. Get the fence. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knots. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man. I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't fucked like that in years. Oh, yes. Fucking A, Bubba. Man, you sound kind of man. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Trust me, we handled it. Whoever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, I've known worse. We just handled a few low-ranking crimes. We sit on it, we see what happens. Kid, there's no use second-guessing. Felt good, man. Woo! Yeah, doing something for a change. Ha! Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Who are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin, maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of the background. Man, Mr. Madrazo, it, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> Why was it thinking straight? Mm, clearly. Yeah. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that if the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Hello. 
Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. So there you go, guys. That is episode three done and dusted. Thank you very much for watching. I think we're going to end it here, and we'll, uh, we'll carry on on episode four another time. But thank you, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You take care. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.